What's going on guys? It's your boy Sam Van the Gamer Man with another episode of Monster Hunter World and in this episode guys there's been a shift in me uh, playing this game. Um, on the one hand I love it. It's a great game. I'm enjoying it but I'm farming way 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 too much um, and in a couple days, literally a couple days, as of right now, we're in the wee hours of June the 5th. In two days, it will have been six months of me playing this game and posting it on YouTube. And I still haven't beat it. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that. Again, this is... Monster Hunter World is a fantastic game once you get hooked. Um, but... Good God, man. I've been playing it for six months. Um, and so, while this is definitely a game that I can see myself coming back to and just continuing to play over and over and over and over, it's a gift that just keeps on giving. Once, once you're hooked, it's so good. I also want to finish the game. <laughs> so... The past couple of weeks I've been doing nothing but farming and I made the decision that I wasn't going to farm the high rank sets because in terms of overall defense it's just it makes no sense when you compare it to the master rank so like for example this is high rank alpha beza helm alpha right and it's got let's see we have its own designated defense, 70, right? Cool. Just below it, I have a Barnos jacket. The Barnos jacket isn't a super, super high defense uh, piece of armor, but yet, because it's um, master rank Barnos jacket, it has a defense of 120. So it just doesn't make sense for me to farm any high rank armor. It doesn't. I can just get better versions of that armor in Master Rank. Um, now, had I known when I started this journey that, you know, there was going to be a low rank, a high rank, and a Master Rank, I probably wouldn't have farmed as much as I have. But yet, here we are. We're in Master Rank. And, um... I sort of want to get this ball rolling, so the I've switched up the how I'm going to play just a little bit, and what I'm going to do with regards to weapons, I'm going to try my best to, at the very least, complete the switch axe weapon no tree, which is a task in and of itself, considering, you know, one of the switch axe trees I need to complete is the Devil Joe uh, weapon tree and I I hate Devil Joe and in order to get this one I imagine it's probably going to be an even aggro or Devil Joe which just horrifies me um, however I've got the majority of the high rank weapons all farmed up and I have myself set up so, for the most part, when I fight a mass rank monster, I can farm it and get its weapon. Cool. Sweet. Done. As far as the armor goes, how I'm approaching master rank armor is if it looks cool and if I have the materials to craft the whole set sweet awesome i'll get it otherwise i'm just going to get the pieces of armor that um have either some form of resistance or an attack boost or something like weakness exploit like something that is useful to my current build um i will farm it but i probably if it's not cool looking and if it doesn't have a skill that benefits me then I'm not gonna get it right so case in point 
Um, bon ben Barrow. I'm gonna get the Ben Barrow switch axe because it looks dope. But if we pull up, where are you, Ben Barrow? Here we are. Sweet, Ben Barrow. It looks sick, so I may still end up getting it. But if we look into the skills that it has, Mushroom Mancer. Okay, that's great, I guess. Divine Blessing, that's the the uh, talisman that I'm wearing, so that doesn't count. Offensive card, eh, okay. Health boost, resentment, which is increases attack when you have recoverable damage, the red portion of your health gauge, okay. And speed eating. In the grand scheme of things, those aren't all great skills, right? There's no resistances or anything there. Um, there's just a Divine Blessing for my talisman. So... I could go and just just farm Ben Barrow just for the switch axe, but I don't really need any pieces of the armor. So I could potentially just skip the Ben Barrow uh, armor set completely. Like I may mm, hold up, I may get the headset because it just it look the headset looks badass, but. The rest I could leave it. Um, and that's, as far as armor goes, that's sort of how I'm approaching it. Um, and hopefully that will allow me to just get through the next portion this of this story, the next chunk of this story, and actually finish the game a little bit faster. Because... <laughs> um, Again, I love this game. I'm still having so, so much fun with it. But I have other games that I want to play and upload. There's Near Automata that I haven't finished that I want to get back to and complete. While we were playing this, another Monster Hunter game came out. Monster Hunter Rise, which I'm over 100 hours. I've put over 100 hours into as well. Um, another Near game has come out. Will I get the next, the the other good year again? Probably not. However, by the time I'm finished this, Cyberpunk 2077 may even be slightly somewhat playable. So who knows? I may even be able to go back to that. Suffice to say, long story short, there are other games that I want to play and upload, but I feel sort of duty bound to play this game. Anyway, Let's get into some actual gameplay. So, um, I know that today's episode was supposed to be me fighting Lunastra. However, we had to switch things up a little bit. Because I was trying to find out where I go to find the Lunastra um, quest. And it turns out it's a special assignment. And in order to do that special assignment, I have to complete a previous special assignment where I take on a Teostra. And in order to complete that special assignment, I need to have access to special assignments, which you see are grayed out as of right now. And in order to have access to special assignments, I need to have the OG handler. And right now, I have the serious handler, because my OG handler is back in Celiana. Um, so, suffice to say, we need to progress the story a little bit. So... I'm going to do one of our assigned quests. I'm going to fight this Nightshade Paolumu. So the last thing that we fought, this Viper Toby Kadachi, whooped my ass. But that's because I wasn't properly prepared. The only poison resistance I had against the Viper Toby Kadachi was super, super low defense, high rank armor. And so I just got completely one shot. Nightshade Palumu, I'm hoping, is going to be a different story. Um, because I have. I farmed uh, CT, Master Rank CT Yaku a little bit. And I got Master Rank uh, CT Yaku Greaves which give me sleep resistance. Where are they? Boom. 
Let's pull them up. Uh, CT Yaku Greaves. There we go. Master rank. CT Yaku uh, Greaves. Sleep resistance. It's a level 2. However, I have put in a, uh, what to call it, a decoration, a sleep resistance decoration. So it's actually level three, which means I should be completely immune to sleep with this Nightshade Paluma. Um, now, that has taken away two levels of uh, earplugs. So I, I like me my earplugs. So I'm gonna have to get swifty a little bit. Oh, beautiful. I'm not going to have to get shifty at all. There we go. Earplugs. I got my earplugs back. And with that, we are good to go. I'm, I've am i never used this high metal armor before, so I'm just going to upgrade its defense a little bit. And then we are good to go. You can see how I hold up. And hopefully, I hope is because I have more master rank armor and my defense is higher, I'm not going to get carded as much. Okay. One last thing I'm going to do before I go get a meal is I'm just going to see... Oops, sorry guys. I'm just going to see if I have any energy drinks. Pretty sure I do. Yep. Energy drinks. I'm gonna bring those along. Because I remember from Monster Hunter Rise, that's what, uh, whenever I was fighting a great baggy, uh, I just pop an energy drink and I wake back up if it tried putting me to sleep. Okay. Let's get some food. Let's get the show on the road. And I'm gonna pay with points. Feel and polisher, not bad. I'll take it. Yeah. Okay. Level 5 earplugs. We're good, baby. Let's do it. No time for naps. Shade Palomo investigation now. The Fifth Fleet's A-list hunter will take point while I keep record. The field team has already gathered tracks. Let's follow the scout flies. All right. That is my kind of fight. You know what? I'm pretty sure I have the immunity mantle, but I'm just gonna quickly check. Equipment. Yes. Okay. So that's also gonna help in the fight. Just in case. Just in case. The sleep resistance. There's some caveat where the sleep resistance doesn't work. Mantle. Boom, baby. And... Where is... My energy drink? Oh, it's right there. Sweet. Perfect. Alright. Off to the races, guys. Let's get it. But yeah, suffice to say, I I'm, I'm, don't want to sound as if I'm not enjoying my time in Monster Hunter World. I am very, very, very much enjoying my time. Still, almost six months on. I just want to see an ending to this thing, you know?
I hope it's just asleep and not actually dead. Like, I hope this isn't another, like, Vol Hazak fight where my... My health is sapped in half. I think I'm gonna be good, though. I think I'm specked out right. That's a relief. Let's continue the hunt. Uh, oh, it didn't go right into a fight. Interesting. Rank Baroth. Okay. I see you. So Master Rank definitely seems to be giving the monsters a little bit more, not even a little bit more, quite a bit more health. And they hit quite a bit harder. Oh, but I'm pretty sure I can do this, especially if this bad boy doesn't put me to sleep. Let's do it. I'm not falling asleep. That's a good sign. What was that though? Do you see it spinning around? Yes. Put the bear off to sleep. I love it. You see that? Speaking of, you see that? Oh, there it goes. Oh, okay. So, Paulum. There we go, guys. That just proves it. Paulumus can actually fly. Wow. I thought they just floated, but nope. They can actually fly. I'm seeing it here first. Okay. That is a cool move. It hits hard, but that is a cool move. I enjoy it. Hi! That move also hits hard. <laughs> I'm not falling asleep. Oh. <laughs> That obviously. Look at that. Those bad boys doing a lot of flying around. So let me see if I can employ some flash bumps. Got that. I. Don't have flash bombs. That's great. Okay. I'm gonna do this the old fashioned way. Okay. 
Okay. Heal, girl. Heal. Come on. Nice little prize and heal. How? How did that hit me? Fuck a do. Come on. Flies around so much more. Come down. Oh, okay. All right. So now I know. After it does that crazy spin, it's gonna come flying towards me. That's fine. Come on. Bandit mantle's done. I got one fucking scale off of it. That is crazy. So, at the same time, this is master rank, which means even if I went to my camp, and got, um, flash bombs. It would only work so many times, you know? So I do kind of have to defeat it on my own. Okay. There you go now. Okay. I will follow. Yeah, these guys definitely hit harder. Like, it goes without saying. We're in Master Rank. We've been around for a little bit. But yeah, these guys hit quite a bit harder. Alright, let's see if I can get you... Close to a wall, senor. Come on. I want to take you for a ride. Let's go. Yes. Very good. Hey, beautiful. Boom, 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 boom. Thank you very much. That's perfect. Exactly what I wanted. Ooh, he's on the ground now. Okay. But also, you got smacked into a wall. Wizard drop. I'm looking for that drop. I'm not seeing it. Okay. I need to latch on to this bad boy before it starts flying around some more. And step. Okay, and you know. Alright, that's okay. And... Okay. 
a big ol' flippy floppy monster. Alright, remember that move. Great and all, but I do have to show it. Excuse me. Yes, yes, go away. Fly away. Please do that. I need a sharpen. Thank you. Alright, beautiful. I didn't even need to really um bring the immunity mantle. I could have brought another mantle instead. Um, because the level 3... What do you call it? The level 3 sleep resistance just completely neutered this Palumu. I shouldn't say completely neutered, because again, it's still... hits really, really hard. Um, yeah, please, get the stone. I'm gonna do another wall slam if I can. Hello. Oh, and it's already enraged. Okay. All right. So no wall slam right now. All right. do then is let's oh I do have flash pods okay Twice, twice in a row, that's great. Appreciate it. All right, so it's deflated a little bit. That's good. Ah, damn, I need to heal. There we go, that was quick. How? How did that hit me? It wasn't anywhere close to me. Alright. And tail sweep. How? Sorry. Okay, so we do have flash pods. Sorry, I was just playing Monster Hunter Rise, and they have flash flash bombs, not flash pods. So they they look a little bit different, which is why I thought we didn't have any. And 
slowing us down. Okay, perfect. Um, down a second time. I love it. Here we go. Blammer, blammer, spammer, clammer, blammer. Ooh. I love it. Fine. Oh, I just, just shot a flash bomb in its face. I had the right idea, just execution. Not so much. Okay, as the trample and fall down move. Classic. Love it, and it's getting tired. I can do that. I can definitely use that. Good day, sir. Now, is it enraged? That's the only thing. It is not. Okay, so. Ton of quick fees. Oh, and now it's enriched. Now it's enriched. That's fine. So I'm gonna re equip these. But again, I need to use these sparsely because it is Master Rank. And in Master Rank, these guys basically, they'll build a. Monsters will build a resistance up to... They'll build up the resistance for uh, flash pods, so... Flash pod won't be as effective the second time, and won't be as effective as... that the third time, either. So... Um, I can use them. Just shouldn't be using them all the time. Alright. Yeah, come get me. Come get me. Yep, flying around. Hey, flash bomb. And that didn't work, okay. Hey, guess what? Flash bomb. Alright, face me. Come on. Where are you? Flash bomb. That works. Hey. Third time to try, baby. Kaboosh. Okay. I could see how that kind of maybe hit me. But seriously, this monster's hitboxes are insane. Okay, classic tail swipe. I see. Alright, stunned it a little bit, but I'm in the green. So hopefully that doesn't mean I bounce too much. Come on. Good lord. Well, I mean, that worked out because I wasn't going to hit it. Go. Ooh. I may be able to get off a wall grab. Yep. 
love it. Boom. Good day, sir. Two. <laughs> All right, you got me. Whoa. Come on back. Yep, come on up back to the higher area. Let's go. use before this fucker's immune to it, I would imagine. So, see if I can knock his ass down. Yep, okay, get in there. Hard and fast. Sorry, I'm just doubling back just in case there was any um, monster parts that were dropped. All right. And I'm spying the mini map. I'm keeping my eye on that mini map just to see if there's any skulls coming off of it. Although, I'm, I don't think it's, I've, yeah, I don't think so. I definitely think it's tired. I don't think uh, it's limping just yet. Hello. Come on. Get on it. And it fell off. Okay. Come on, girl. Bring some of that stamina back. Come on. Before it gets enraged. Let's go. Boom. And skadoosh. Good day. Up we go. Yes. <laughs> I love that when that happens with Fellow Move. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, I don't love that when that happens. See, it's still running. It's not limping, it's running. So. I think I've just made it tired. 
Could be wrong. Again, I'm looking at that mini map. Trying to see if I spot a skull coming off of it. This Paluma goes to sleep. I don't think it's going to sleep because it's in the middle of this desert area. Yeah, I definitely think I'm winding it, but I don't think I've. It's down and out yet. Because these mass rank monsters just have. Fuck, they have so much health. Alright. And it is enraged, however. Come on. Oh. Oh, okay. Alright. Down we go. <laughs> There's the limp. There is the limp. Okay. Now, I'm going for the kill. Um, I don't have any traps or anything on me. I I have bombs. So, I don't know. We're going to see if I can get this kill maybe in under 30 minute, minutes. That would be nice. First things first, though, let's... Oh, yep, yeah, there's the skull. There's a little skull icon. Okay, I can see it there. Let's... So I got myself sharpened. Let's make sure I have... Flash pods, just in case. Who knows, you know? Maybe, just maybe, we have... We have one more flash pod use in this fight. You never know. Is it sleeping? Yep. Pretty sure it's sleeping. <laughs> okay, well for these fuckers, I'm gonna put this on just in case they try and paralyze me. Boink. Boink. Let's wait this boy up. Maybe this girl. Who knows? Oh, and it's poison. Beauty. <laughs> and because I have the immunity mantle on, I'm not getting poisoned. Oh my god. It's not even fair. Alright, where are those flash pods? Come on. Oh, seriously, I got another one. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. That is insane, guys. And there you have it. Let's return to Astera and prepare for the next investigation. That was one fun fight. This guy kept me on my toes. And as you can see, it literally like master rank armor makes all the difference. It makes all the difference. I'm gonna, I'm, in my own time, I'm going to go farm um, 
master rank uh, Puke Puke just to get its poison, poison resistant armor. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go fight that Viper Topi Gadachi. And I guarantee you, like, I. Like, Viper Toby Kadachi is fast, and it hits hard, and it has a lot of health. So, who knows? I may cart. I may cart maybe once. But when I fight the Viper Toby Kadachi, I carted four times. Five if you're including the time that my Palico revived me. So, I guarantee you, if I have Master Rank Armor with Poison Resistance, that Viper Toby Kadachi will be neutered just like this nightshade palumi was neutered because i had full-on sleep resistance it's stuff like this that gets me excited and keeps me coming back to monster hunter oh god so good i didn't even really pay attention to what uh pieces i got my master rank went up that's great i love it what about my hunter rank? Did my hunter rank go up a little bit? Not really. Not really. Although, I need to look back and see what my hunter rank was when I faced the Viper Toby Kadachi. Because I can tell you, it's definitely a lot higher. It's almost level 70. But it's also like, ooh, level 70 out of 999. Whoop de doo, Sam. Whoop de doo. A new arena quest has been added. It's probably for Nightshade Palumu. That just makes sense. Alright, let's get back to the village. So that we can see what this armor looks like. I'm pretty sure I got a switch axe out of it too. One subspecies left to investigate. Just leave records and analysis to me. Okay. Alright. Let's get some treasure from the poogie. Thanks, Poogster. Boom. There you go. And I'll sell this stuff later. And I'll come to my farm later. I'll come to my room later. Let's just go check out some armor. Let's see what we get. The spoils of our labor. No problem. Young Smithy, okay. Let's see. Switch axes. Deranos. Boom. Right under Paluma. Nightshade Paluma. Okay. Felwing and Torpor Sack. Interesting. Torpor Sack. So, I haven't even fought a normal uh, Master Rank Palumu, so that looks like that's probably going to be the next thing I farm, um, just in terms of getting the weapon, is I'll get enough to make so that I can upgrade um, what I have here, the Lumu Smasher, to whatever this is. But, I'm also going to farm it so I have enough to craft uh, Nightshade uh, Palumu uh, Switch Axe, which still looks dope, by the way. Holy, that looks sick. Um, as well as whatever this Switch Axe is going to be. So, cool. That's going to be fun. Um... Alright, Nightshade nice Palumu, let's see what the armor looks like, and in order to get just a preview, of course we're going to go to 
check out what it looks like on my Palico first. Hadoi. Is there... Yeah, that looks normal. Yeah, that's normal. That looks familiar. We used that for a while. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I love it. There's that, and then there's that. No, I'm sorry. Mm, there's no contest. Okay. So it looks like there's just the one Palumu set, which is the, the tried and true classic one that we know and love. So let's see what the Hunter version looks like. Hunter armor. Nightshade. Come on. I know you're here somewhere. There we are. Lumu Phantasm. That looks that sounds dope. Alright. Let's see what the beta one looks like. First off. <laughs> okay. Um interesting. There we go. Sleep resistance. So I can get uh, even higher rank. Uh, armor, not uh, high rank, uh, higher defense armor with sleep resistance. And weakness exploit. Cool. What about the alpha set? Wait. Is there any different? Oh. Literally a, the, the smallest difference in terms of color. Um, like, I look like a trainer from the Pokemon series. Like a trainer that would be in like a poison forest or something like that. Um, okay, so that's the hat that gives me weakness exploit. So I'll probably end up crafting that. Wide range and maximum might. It's decent, but I could take it or leave it. No. No, don't don't need that. Yeah, like, I may walk, end up walking away with, like, it's an alright looking armor, so I'm not going to get it because it looks cool, it's, because it's just, it's okay, it's decent, um, so if I was to get anything from the set, it would probably be, to be honest, just the hood, and the, the greaves. Yeah, okay, well now you know. Okay, guys, that was it uh, for this episode. Nightshade Palumu, we did it, and we didn't cart once. That's crazy compared to um, compared to when I fight fought uh, Viper Toby Kadachi. That's crazy. I was not prepared. I'm prepared now. My um, Dota Gamma Pugi says goodbye to you. So. Have a wonderful day, guys. Um, hope you're all feeling well. Hope some of you guys are getting uh, vaccinated. We're going to get through this thing. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay happy. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao for now, guys.